Hello, everyone. This is Realtor Mike Thomas talking to you about uh, the market, the real estate market here in Southeast Florida, um, which includes all the way from uh, Miami-Dade, Broward, uh, Palm Beach, Martin, and Port St. Lucie counties. Everybody's probably eager to know what the market is doing and the truth about what um, where things are going. Anyway, we're going to start off first right here. Uh, we're in Martin, or I'm sorry, in Broward County. We're in Broward County. And as you noticed over last year, we are up 13.6%. Uh, last year, the median price of a home was just under 500,000, 495,000. Uh, this year, August, see August down here, and the source comes, of, this is from the Palm Beach MLS, Broward, Palm Beach, St. Lucie County Board of Realtors. And um, so we have an increase in the medium home prices. Uh, what does that mean? Home values are going up in Broward County. Um, I also have a little spreadsheet that I did and here is the medium home prices for single family homes. This is the medium home prices for townhouses and condominiums. And I'm not seeing a dip. I'm not seeing it going, you know, in this direction downward. I'm seeing it go up. So the crazy thing is, is what is all this talk about real estate pricing coming down um, here in South Florida? Normally, when we see a little dip like this, and this, of course, this is Broward County, uh, we would see a large dip in both single-family homes and uh, townhouses and condominiums, but we're not seeing that either. So if you ask me where I think the real estate market is going, and according to these numbers and figures, they are still going up not as much as they were before. I think we're plateauing. Uh, I don't think the real estate market is crashing or falling down. And if you Google this, if you really Google this on YouTube and type in real estate crash 2010, real estate crash 2011, real estate crash 2012, and so on and so on, until you get to real estate crash 2022, you're going to see videos of people, and I'm talking about very prominent people, not just Joe Blow in his basement talking about real estate market crashing. I'm talking about professionals, economists saying that the real estate market is coming down. And it's really odd for me as a real estate professional to hear all these videos when I'm looking at numbers and figures that don't match that. So let me continue with Broward County. So we have real estate prices up. The average time on the market though is up as well. And the reason for that is, is because if you're asking for more money for your home, it's probably gonna take a little longer to sell. So if you have another month to spare on the market until you get your price, then two and a half months is not a bad number. I'm used to numbers uh, anywhere from three to six months of wait time before a home sold in a normal market with a normal interest rate. And please stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna talk about some things about interest rates as well and about the next video I'm gonna make about interest rates and um, where are they going and how is that affecting the real estate market. So it's an, um, if you love these videos, please hit the subscribe button. Um, tell, you, tell me how much you love me by, by clicking the like button and leaving comments. And uh, it, uh, you know, it, if you love these videos, please hit the notification button and you'll be notified when other videos like this come available. So that is my pitch for sign up for my video, please. Um, Townhouses and condominiums up again from last year. We're up 20.5% uh, from 220000 to $265,000 is the medium home price for a townhouse or condominium. Again, the length of time on the market is about the same, has not changed. 
And as inventory, as people say, no, inventory is up, inventory is up, not in Broward County, not for townhouses and condominiums in the month of August, inventory was actually down over last year. So with these numbers and figures, I really don't know what the heck people are talking about. So let's talk about my backyard, Palm Beach County. I live in Palm Beach County. I have been for over 20 years and loving it. I, um, I'm looking at the real estate market in Palm Beach County for single family homes, the month of August. Again, this was last year, 100, uh, 480,000. Uh, this year, the medium home price is 565,000, up 17.7% .7 over last year. So how is this market crashing? I haven't got the slightest idea. Maybe you could leave a comment and tell me. Uh, real estate is very local. And when these national numbers come out, um, places where people are not interested in living anymore or moving out of, you know, seem to uh, have negative numbers. But here in Florida, real estate is still in high demand. People are still seeing... Um, getting pretty close to 100%, which means the of their asking price, the original list price. They're getting 96.8%, uh, so almost 97% of the, the list price that they're asking for. Supply, supply in Palm Beach County is up uh, because a lot of people are optimistic that we're COVID-19 is behind us. That was four years ago. I know that COVID's around, but I think people are vaccinated and I don't think it's much of a concern uh, as the CDC announced uh, some time ago that it is no longer a threat. Um, so I don't know, I'm not a health expert, but do follow the CDC guidelines uh, regarding your health and safety. I wanna talk about real estate. So let's take a look. Um, inventory is up, and that means that it's just going to take a little longer to sell, almost twice as long to sell your home. But, you know, the average time to sell a house is three to six months. So 2.7 months, not a bad number. I consider that to be quite normal. Um, townhouses and condominiums last year. They were 232,000 in August this year. They're almost $300,000 up 25.4%. Does this sound like the market is crashing to you? Not so much to me. Um, again, inventory is up. That does make buyers happy because now I have to fight for homes so much. Uh, there's not 10 buyers for every home. Maybe there's only three buyers for every home, but still, uh, a very strong seller's market in the month of August, 2022. Um, the inventory does take a little longer to sell. Here we go. As inventory goes up, it's gonna take a little longer to sell it, sell a home in Palm Beach County. And it's up 40% over last year. Uh, Martin County, oh, let me go back to and show you the numbers for Palm Beach County. Palm Beach County, I see a slight dip, but let me tell you why. A lot of people buy homes. They want to make a move in July and August. Why? To move their kids out of a school district. Maybe their kids have, um, you know, graduated from an elementary school or middle school, and now they're going to high school and they buy another home in a different school district where the high school is where their where their child wants to go to. So now. Um, you've got a lot of people moving because of school districts in the month of June, July, and August. Uh, September could be a little slow. Why? Because everybody already bought in August. It's kind of like Christmas time. January is a slow month for retail sales. Why? Because everybody already bought for Christmas. Um, and so January is typically a slower month than, than December. Wouldn't you agree? So... If there's some slippage going on, okay, not too much of a big deal if I see a month or two of people not buying as heavy as they were uh, the month before. So still real estate prices going up, everything looking good in Palm Beach County. 
Um, when we look at this, of course, this is Signal Family Homes, um, Palm Beach County. And last year, it was just under 500,495. We're up over 33%. 33% over last year, $660,000 for a home. This does not sound like a market crash to me. Um, people say, well, Mike, if things keep going up, it has to come down. No, not really. Um, it can plateau and stay there. Inflation, have you ever seen inflation come down uh, where things got a lot cheaper everywhere? Uh, not really. Once inflation is there, prices normally don't come down and inflation does have something to do with the real estate prices uh, everywhere really, uh, in my opinion. And of course, everybody has their opinion. Inventory is up. Uh, or single family homes in Palm Beach County were only 302 homes on the market. That's nothing for an entire county. Uh, Martin County, 302 houses. Now they're up to 490. Uh, it does take, again, as inventory goes up, it's going to take a little longer to sell. Uh, just the nature of the beast. But home prices did skyrocket. And uh, in August, again, does not sound like a real estate crash to me. I'm sorry what the real estate so-called experts and authors and economists say. And Zillow, I'm just talking about where we live right here. And it's real estate is very local. Um, what I tell people and have told people for many years here in Florida, you're buying a location. If it comes with a home or a house or a condo, that's a bonus. Uh, people come here for our weather and our beaches. And it's, in my mind, exactly like the Bahamas, sometimes better. Our beaches are just as nice as the Bahamas, and you don't have to leave the country um, to enjoy it. Plus our shopping, our restaurants, and um, roads infrastructure and pretty much everything else is is a lot nicer than the Bahamas in my opinion. I've been to the Bahamas many times. I like to go. I love to visit. I uh, wouldn't want to live there. So um, condominium sales, condos and townhouses, again, up 47.6% over last year, August. This does not sound like a market crash. So um, that is a lot. Let me show you Martin County. Martin County actually jumped quite a bit. That is a huge jump for, you know, people saying that the market is, is not um, coming down. Uh, it's not as on fire as it was before. And the reason for that is because there's more homes on the market. People are deciding, hey, COVID is... Um, no longer a serious threat. We're still taking precautions, of course, but um, people are more inclined to show houses, do open houses and things like that. And I've been doing those myself, of course, following CDC guidelines as always. St. Lucie County, uh, St. Lucie County, home medium home pr prices up 22% over last year. Last year, you were able to buy a home for about $317,900. Uh, this year, it's $390. Uh, that's quite a jump for Port St. Lucie County. Inventory more than doubled. And of course, affecting the home, price, uh, home on the market has doubled as well, more than doubled. Uh, townhouses and condominiums up 27.9%, so roughly about 28%. And we're talking from 215,000 over last year to 275,000 over this year. Inventory has gone up and so has the amount of time on the market. So waiting another 20 to 30 days isn't the end of the world for most sellers and they normally hold out for, for their pricing. Uh, Miami-Dade County, oh, let's take a look at 
our Port St. Lucie County mix. Here, Port St. Lucie County, um, still showing some positive numbers. I'm not seeing any sharp declines right here. I'm seeing a plateau. I'm not seeing a sharp decline. And of course, this is our real estate market, uh, which is much different than the Tampa Bay market um, or the Naples area, uh, Fort Myers area, Orlando area, or Jacksonville area. I would consult with a real estate expert in that area to see what their markets are like. So what we have here in Miami-Dade County is up 10.1%. So we're talking $500,000 last year, up to 551,250 this year. Uh, inventory has gone up and so has the time on the market. Again, I, I think those are numbers that kind of go up and down with each other. Townhouses and condominiums up 11.9%, so almost 12% is the medium price of a home or townhouse or condo in Miami area. Uh, inventory has gone down and so has uh, the amount of time it takes to sell a house, 3.4 months. Miami is kind of a different animal and it kind of takes a life on its own. Miami is still up, still looking good. I uh, These numbers here show more of a plateau than anything else. The only thing that's gone up is single family homes from Martin County is because it, it is a great area, kind of a hidden gym nobody knows about. A uh, great inlet, nice little airport that you can fly airplanes out of, single engine aircrafts. Uh, if you like that kind of thing, I do. That's one of the things that I love to do. I love to fly. I'm also a drone pilot, a real estate agent, a Microsoft certified systems engineer with credentials in internet technology. And recently I'm an AWS certified Amazon Web Service, um, Cloud Service certified. So looking at these numbers, I'm not seeing a market crash uh, here in our area, at least. I don't know if the market is crashing in different areas or different cities, um, but not here. This is Jupiter. This is uh, the city I live. And it's kind of bouncing so to speak, I'm looking at average price of homes, medium price of homes, but all in all, um, it's right around between the 800 and a million dollar range. Um, and for single fam or for townhouses, I'm sorry, for home prices, um, we're looking at about a million to $2 million for a home versus townhouses and condominiums. So kind of expensive area to live, but I love it. I've been here for over 20 years. Um, and this is Mike Thomas, Realtor Mike Thomas, coming to you from Palm Beach County, Florida with this market report that I'm looking at. I'm seeing much of a plateau more than anything. And it really frustrates me to hear a lot of people out there talking about the real estate market crashing just for hits, just for views or whatever that they want. It seems to me that the information that they give out could be something in specific. I mean, I could talk about, um, you know, a small town somewhere in America and say, oh yes, look at this. It has a sharp decline in real estate and, you know, focus on that. I'm just giving you the numbers for our area and our area looks pretty good. So if you have any further questions, please leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, love to hear from you. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. And um, always appreciate your thumbs up. Thank you so much. Till next time, I'm going to have a great video on mortgages and how the interest rate is affecting uh, the real estate market today. And that's coming up soon. So please click the notification bell and uh, don't miss that video. All right. Till next time, Realtor Mike Thomas. See you later.